So you remember how I said that my coffee grinder is broken? It still is. That replacement parts have been ordered and they are on their way, but I haven't gotten them in yet and definitely want to make coffee, so what am I going to do? Grinder backup. This is manual hand crank grinder. It takes forever. It requires a lot of work. Your arm is pretty tired by the end of it, but you know, what are you going to do when there's no other option? So this is what we're doing today. Sorry, I went to bed with semi-wet hair, I guess. So what happened there? The uh, weird peacock thing going on uh, up there? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, like two and a half minutes of grinding can get you that. So it's 50 grams is what we typically use to make our Chemex. Uh, Probably hard to see, but the grind size is actually pretty consistent um, throughout. That the ceramic burrs work really nice. The uh, there's like the underside shot. The grinds just escape between that little gap in there on the sides, and but it's actually like super consistent and produces a really nice grind for you know. I think you could get this hand grinder on Amazon for like, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. All right, it's uh, nine o'clock at night and I'm checking back in now. I actually got some pretty sweet freebies through work today. Um, a pair of shoes from Sockney. We kind of got our choice of shoe. I went with the Triumph 17 in the blackout colorway. This is, uh, I, f I first got to try the shoe back at Camp Sockney last summer, last June, and I think the colorway they did for this blackout edition looks really, really sick. I'm a big fan. Um, one of my favorite little touches of the shoe is actually the insert. I think it's uh, it's not you know, not many people mess with the insert a whole lot, but I like the the little detail they did on that. So super cool. Thank you for thank you Sockney and our rep for or the hookup on that. Um, I took it for a short run tonight um, with Saint, and uh, so first time running in that shoe other than uh, when I got to try it at camp, and. It's, it's a really great shoe. I think it feels really lightweight, um, re like good cushion to it, but it doesn't feel overly cushioned. Um, and I don't really think it feels overly bulky either. Sometimes um, some of like the shoes that are out there, like the 1080 version 10 right now, to me feels like just a lot of shoe. And I think this, it, it looks bigger, but I think it actually fits like really well. And I don't think it feels overly, like too overly big. Uh, I think this is like one of the best shoes they put out in a long time. Uh, certainly one of my favorites from the Saucony lineup right now. Um, some good cushion. It is very flexible, like, for, like, you know, um, it's definitely, like, more shoe than, like, you know, the Ride or the Kimbara, but, you know, still a lot of flex to the shoe. And I think this Power Run Plus is really, really excellent. Um, definitely an improvement over Everrun. Um, you know, it's lighter weight, and it's, I don't know, I enjoy it. Um, I'm definitely going to be putting some more miles in these. Um, we've got like 11 more days till my marathon, um, so most of the long, long training runs are over. Um, so I'll have to hold on to these for some future training runs. Our sax rep also sent over some, um, some stuff. We've got these shorts. Um, I'm going to open these up. I haven't, I haven't tried these yet. So we, we just carry the boxers in the store, but Saks makes like a whole line of stuff. Um, and then like all of their stuff, actually all their other um, apparel and whatnot does have kind of like 
the underwear built into them too. So let's see. Yeah, so that's totally attached there. So I guess you can't really uh, wear the shorts without the underwear in this case. Which is like, I don't know, kind of a bummer I guess because you know I might wear a pair of shorts a, a couple times like just casual shorts you know a couple times before washing them but I sure as heck you know wouldn't wear a pair of underwear more than once without washing them so I guess these have to get washed after each use which is kind of lame but um, definitely looking forward to trying these out I would imagine they probably nice and breathable and yeah, pretty good fit. I'll have to try those out see how I feel. Um, and then a pair of boxers. So so thank you to our awesome reps for the freebies. I'm very thankful. I'm uh, probably going to go ahead and sign off for the night, but I'll catch you guys tomorrow as always. Um, feel free to follow me on Instagram. Uh, my Instagram is johnmcarii. Thank you for watching my videos and subscribe for more uh, content and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.